Okay, so this video is going to be an overview of your frontal, parietal, and occipital bone, both what the bones look like and the bone markings that you're responsible for. Um, so this is your frontal bone right here. So if you were to see this laying out individually on a lab exam, you should be able to recognize this as your frontal bone. Where does it fit into um, our actual skull when our bones are fused together? If you look here, it's going to be this bone right here and the upper portion of your um, eye cavity holes right there. So this would be right about here um, when we're talking about our frontal bone. A couple bone markings that you need to know for your frontal bone are the supraorbital foramen or notch and your frontal sinuses. So on the individual frontal bones that we have, the articulate uh, articulated. Um, you can't really see the supraorbital notch very clearly. However, on the bone box skulls, you can see the supraorbital notch. So looking right here, this notch right here in the orbital socket, that would be the supraorbital notch of your frontal bone. Um, the other thing that your lab asks you to identify are the frontal sinuses. You cannot see them in either one of these models. Um, typically, anytime we ask you a sinus question, it's just going to say name the sinus right here at this location. If you know it's the frontal bone, if you know if it's a sphenoid bone, or you know it's the ethmoid bone, then you know the name of the sinus because the sinuses are named for the bone that they reside in. So the frontal bone has frontal sinuses. If for some reason, um, and it would likely be like a bonus style question if we were to ask you, um, they ask you to identify the frontal bone or the frontal sinus. This is um, your skull put together like so. Hold on, let me put it back together. Okay, so this is your skull. The frontal sinuses lie right here behind the uh, external frontal bone. If we were to open these and look at the interior right here, now we can see the sinus visible right there. So this would be your uh, frontal sinus right here behind the frontal bone itself. Again, you can't see that in um, either of the other bone models. The other bone that you have to identify is your parietal bone. So this is what your parietal bone looks like. We have two. So if we're looking at the skull, the parietal bone is this bone right here in this area. You do not have to identify any bone markings. So the last thing that you need to identify um, that we're gonna talk about in this lecture is the occipital bone. And this is what the occipital bone looks like. And it's easy to identify the occipital bone because it's gonna have this giant hole or foramen in it. And this giant foramen is called the foramen magnum. So it's a great way to identify um, the occipital bone. If we're looking at a complete skull or a fused skull right here, the um, foramen magnum would be at the bottom of our tip or our occipital bone. So this would be back here along the suture line, which we'll talk about in another lecture. This is all of our occipital bone. So what do you need to identify on the occipital bone? The uh, foramen magnum, as well as, let me find the stick. So foramen magnum is the giant um, hole right here we have these little protrusions coming off of the on the sides of the foramen magnum these are called your occipital condyles and then if we flip it over we can see on the internal surface just deep to our um, occipital condyles there's a hole and i'm sticking the stick through it now this is your hypoglossal canal so there's one on each side that's one hypoglossal canal and then if i rotate Underneath the other occipital condyle, we have the other um, canal. So again, on a lab exam, you could see um, where the occipital bone is laying like this with the stick going through saying, name this hole. And you would say the hypoglossal canal. So again, if the individual occipital bone is laying out, that's the three structures you need to identify. But you could also be asked to identify them on an actual skull themselves. So if we're looking from this direction, all we can really see um, from this view is the foramen magnum of the occipital bone. Let's see if we can see the hypoglossal canal. Uh, let's 
we can so let me get a stick through it so you can see so there's our hypoglossal canal and the stick goes all the way through so if a stick's like that on a lab exam it says name this bone marking you would say the hypoglossal canal um, from the other view so the skull could be laying this way asking you to name the canal or the hole or it could be the other way asking you name the hole or canal like this in whatever manner it is and you would have to say that is the hypoglossal canal and that's it for those three bones uh, we'll continue on with the temporal bone and the sutures in the next uh, mini lecture.